What did the Pope do? The Pope has changed the day of rest from the seventh day to the first day. He has thought to change the very commandments that was given to cause man to remember his Creator. He has thought to change the greatest commandment in the Decalogue and thus make himself equal with God or even exalt himself above God. The Lord is unchangeable, therefore his law is immutable. But the Pope has exalted himself above God in seeking to change his immutable precepts of holiness, justice, and goodness. He has trampled underfoot God's sanctified day and on his own authority put it in its place one of the six laboring days the whole nation has followed after the beast and every week they rob God of his holy. Time. The Pope has made a breach in the holy law of God, but I saw that the time had fully come for this breach to be made up by the people of God and the waste place built up. I pleaded before the angel for God to save his people who has gone astray, to save them for his mercy's sake. When the plagues begin to fall, those who continue to break the holy Sabbath will not open their mouths to plead those excuses that they now make to get rid of keeping it. Their mouths will be closed while the plagues are falling and the great lawgiver is requiring justice of those who have had his holy law in derision and have called it a curse to man, miserable and rickety. When such feel the iron grafts of this law taking hold of them, these expressions will appear before them in living characters, and they will then realize the sin of having that law in derision, which the word of God calls holy, just, and good, then I was pointed to the glory of heaven, to the treasure laid.